Hello everyone and welcome back. I have another look for y'all. It's a natural cut crease today and let's jump right into it. So I'm using um, the LA Colors brow pencil in the shade black brown to fill in my brows and shape them out. And I'm going in with my uh, lighter cons um, foundation shade in Toffee. This is from the Fit Me brand. I'm using this to prep under my eyes for the eyeshadow so it can look a little bit more pigmented. And then at the top of my brows, I am using my normal foundation shade in Coconut from the Fit Me brand. I am now taking my concealer brush just to blend it out at the bottom and my foundation brush at the top just to blend it out on top of my brows. And I love this brand right here. It's from Juvia's Place. I love um, all their pretty colors and we're just, for this specific look, we're just going to go in with this brown um, as our base transition shade. Um, I like to go in circles and then just buff out the ends. And then for uh, our next shade is from the Plum Palette. I'm just taking the darkest brown in there and just um, putting that under the light brown. And a little bit of black. That black can like overpower the whole look. That's why I'm just using a little bit. And I'm taking uh, the Fit Me Concealer. Um, it's really, really light. And I'm just cutting my crease now using their brush applicator to cut the crease. Um, normally when I cut the crease, it's always either one or the other where I have to just kind of have to fix. Um, I am now taking my concealer brush and just blending that out, just patting it, the concealer, into my eyes. And going back in with that Juvia's Place brown shade and just um, putting it in on the ends to get rid of those harsh lines. And also using that dark brown from the Morphe Plum Palette as well. So now for my crease shade, I'm using um, that goldish, whitish color from the Plum Palette. Um, it's really shimmery and I really thought it just brightened up my eyes a little bit more. So that's what I was going to do. And I'm just fixing um, the ends of my eye with the brown. And now I'm just taking the liquid liner from LA Colors, just making a um, straight line. I am not winging this out for the look. Um, I kind of just feel like the black would be nice. And yeah, I'm just taking um, the mascara from LA Colors and just, um, just going under my lashes and then just fixing up any of the eyeshadow. Oh, so now I'm going in with my foundation in the shade Coconut, and I'm going all over my face, just blending it out, making sure I get every um, part, and now I am picking, well, searching for my concealer um, in the shade Toffee. And with this shade, I'm just going under my eyes and my chin and forehead, nose, just to highlight some areas and using my concealer brush to blend it out. Also, you don't have to do this step, but I just take a lighter, even lighter concealer and I just go under my eyes and um, lighten up a little bit of extra areas. I kind of like to, that really glowy, bright effect. And now I'm just taking this... Uh, powder from Ruby Kisses. It's like a white powder. I'm just um, setting that concealer and I went back into the um, Juvia's Place palette and used that brown shade as my bronzer today and I really do like this shade. Um, and I'm taking this highlighter from um, the Jaclyn Hill palette. It was from the vault. It has all of her purplish shades in there and I think it's called Blitz Blitz and Glam. That is the shade I use for my highlight. And now I'm just um, taking this dark brown matte shade in a really light matte shade and trying to make this nice ombre lip. I kind of feel like it looks really nice with this look. And I am done. I'm just setting it with some setting spray. And yeah, this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Heavenly. Peace.